Hey Aquarius. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna start this by saying first of all, you could whoever I'm speaking to, you could be a very um intuitive or either a spiritual person. Because as I picked up my phone to do you guys' this video, it was eleven eleven on the on the clock. Yeah, I could also be speaking to an Aquarius who's on the twin flame journey. And we do have the two of uh, cups at the bottom of this deck. You could be with your, you could be on a twin uh, flame soulmate journey. You, like I said, you could be highly intuitive. Look, two cards just fell out of my deck for no reason. Three. Three cards fell out of my deck for no reason. I'm sitting here holding my cards and talking to y'all and three cards fall out. Let's see what these cards are. We have the Page of Swords, the Star, and the Temperance. Libra, uh, Libra Gemini, Aquarius. Aquarius again, so this might be who, um, who you're dealing with or you could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on here. I haven't even had a chance to shuffle. These three cards just fell out. So this might be the energy for your reading. Yeah, someone here is very, very spiritual. But you're also having patience with your journey. It's like you're healing from something and you're pouring more into yourself. Like you have, you've been enlightened about something. Yeah, back to those angel numbers. It's a um, temperance is an angel. You could have, you could be seeing synchronicities. Your angels could be trying to um, contact you, um, talk to you. You know, angels talk through numbers, so pay attention. Something also could have happened in Aquarius season, but here you are right here in your reading. Or something is going to happen in Aquarius season. I don't want to go too deep into this because, like I said, I haven't even shuffled. So, uh, we're going to put these cards back in the deck. They did fall out, so I wanted to show y'all. Yeah, somebody could have a bright new idea about how to heal a situation. But let's let's see what this is about. Yeah. Somebody could be wanting to hear something. Yeah, someone, as I cut to even shuffle, someone could have had you and stuck in some type of illusion. Yeah, you could be also dealing with the Capricorn. This person could be uh, very toxic, have some type of addictions. This person could also be very controlling, but we'll keep going. We'll see what else spirit wants to come out. Yeah, this person was an in and out person. This person was in your life, out your life, in your life, out your life. Oh, it's something in my eye. See, this is the only reading for some reason where I felt I need to cover up my head and protect my crown chakra. And as I walked into my living room, for some reason, it's like um, some like scratching or screeching at my patio door. My puppy is in the bed sleeping. So Aquarius, you might have somebody trying to tap into your um your crown chakra in, in your dream state. So you might want to uh, protect yourself. Save your space. Cleanse your space. Yeah, and I just saw the magician. You might have somebody even doing a little bit of work on you. If you feel like you have somebody doing some type of black magic, exactly. If you feel like you have some person doing some type of uh, magic on you or something like that, yeah, you do. Please protect yourself. Wait a minute. Yep, only good. Mm, mm, mm. But see, let me tell you something. That magic ain't going to work because you are highly protected. Yes, you are, Aquarius. There you go, baby. That's the only card in my deck that's in the reverse. I've already checked my cards. So, Aquarius, we're going to go on and get into this because this sounds like it's going to be kind of serious. I was wondering why I felt the need to cover up my head. Mm. Yeah. Someone could have been given to two. Yeah. Remember what I was saying about that twin flame journey? Somebody even could have been like um, 
spending more time working than with you or this person feels like you focus more on your money than you do them or you feel this way about this person you may be just trying to find balance like in your life like you're trying to balance something out something with your finances you're trying to balance out but we're gonna go on and get into this Y'all, please excuse my daughter in the background. Children will be children. Now we did pop, so we are going to take, we are queen of wands, I mean king of wands. So uh, Aquarius, you could be dealing with the fire sign, a Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius. Mm. See my eye, my eye hasn't been bothering me till I started child's reading. Yeah. It's like either you or them no longer want to create something with the other. And this is causing this person to feel very like battered. It. You know, like I can't too much. I'm stumbling over my words. So that's. This is the king of ones is a boss. Yeah, the king of wands is a boss. This person, you probably could have been dealing with someone who wanted you to put in all the work into this situation. And this is how it left you feeling. Like this person didn't want to do any of the work. They expected you to do everything. This person, you could have been dealing with a very entitled uh, individual. Well, this person felt entitled. Ooh, child, this person didn't like me saying that, but it's going to be all right, baby. Yeah, the sun and the six of swords. Mm, ah, oh my goodness. Yeah, but even though this person saw you as their happiness, it's looking like this person still moved away. It's like this person possibly moved. I'm going to keep going because this reading seems to be serious and I don't want to just be talking out the side of my head. Holy Spirit, I'm listening. No, it's like you wanted this situation. But this this situation, you put in a lot of work toward this situation, Aquarius. And this situation caused you to feel defeated. You had no choice but to move away. Y'all, you could have possibly had two children with this person, maybe three, but you had no choice but to move away from this person. This situation. Oh, 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 page one. Yeah, we got a page of ones right here. We had a lot of ones out here. This person could have been like the type to go and pass themselves around. Very promiscuous. What is this, sweetheart? No. Yeah, but see, it's like someone here has a plan. They're thinking of like a master plan. Let's see what this is about, Aquarius. Some, but somebody is definitely... Yeah, we got the um, Knight of Pentacles and the Nine, yeah, the Nine of Swords. It's like this person is all up in their head at night, trying to figure out how to come back towards you, or are you moving away from this person caused you to be all up in your head. Somebody was working. They somebody was either moving away too slow, us uh, really slowly, or somebody was uh, not making an offer. 
But somebody is definitely coming up with a plan because they tired of being up at night in their head, like can't sleep, crying and shit. Yeah, I see a lot of water. They on a boat, like, yeah. Somebody could also be uh taking some kind of trip. Like this person could have to travel to come towards you. But somebody is definitely not happy in this situation. Somebody is staying up at night crying. The hell? But it's like somebody noticed. Somebody knows that somebody is not happy about the way this situation is turning out. I'm sorry. I keep going past. Uh, we have more of, of uh, fire energy with the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have uh, Pinnacles, which are um, Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo on the board now. Someone could even be enlightened about why someone moved away. And this is keeping someone up in their head at night. Because you see, like, I can't, man, this is why I got to get some, like, some better view crap. Like, you see this? It's, well, it was like this. You see how this person is looking at this other person? It's kind of like, why did you do me this way? And this other person is kind of like snooty, like, hmm, whatever. Yeah, so somebody could have gotten enlightened. About something that someone did that caused them to move away. Or when you got enlightened about this, it caused you to move away. But see, you still, somebody is still left in their head. Yeah, ten of swords on the bottom. See, this, this you've been with this person for a while because either somebody got betrayed multiple, multiple times. Multiple times. And they still... Still, it was like the tenth sword that got in your back was that was it. That was like the the it that was the end. You finally had enough, and you decided to move away from this situation. Maybe this was an unrequited love type situation. Because we do have one person looking in one person's direction, but the other person is looking away. Yeah, Knight of Swords. Somebody want to come rushing in. Let me keep going because I get some kind of conflict energy with this. Like, I know you ain't trying to. What you doing? I'm going to say this is this person's energy, uh, Aquarius, because you haven't popped out at all. Holy Spirit, can you? Wait, no, I just heard you embodying the King of Wands. Like, yeah, you don't want to work with this person anymore. Yeah, this person could... What is this? You could feel like this person is very immature. They very emotionally immature. Yeah, but you could definitely be dealing with someone that's younger than you. Yeah, very fiery. It's like this person, now that you moving away, this person is all in their head and they want to come rushing back towards you. But let's see, because I'm this ain't uh uh. Holy Spirit, please come through. Give me more on this situation with Aquarius. Yeah, this person could have actually thought that the grass was greener on the other side, and it wasn't. Yeah. See, this person is all stuck in their head, Aquarius. They all in their head. 
Well, I don't want to just say this person because energy is fluid, but somebody is stuck out in their head. Let me put these cards down. Yeah, because see, somebody had something good right in front of them. And they chose not to, not to, not to reach out and grab it. This person could have been very stubborn. See how he got his arms folded? Yeah, this person could have also been the type of person to keep their options open. You tried to hand your cup of love to this person several times, and this person turned a blind eye to it. Yeah, this person was busy focusing on themselves, what they wanted to make, that was going to make them happy. See, and there, there you go. It popped out. Yeah. The Eight of Pentacles. And it's, it's in the reverse. It's like you have no, you don't want to work on this with this person anymore. This person could also be like stuck in their head to the point where they can't really think straight. They can't think straight. It's like they can't focus. It's like it's like they they scatterbrained at this point. Because this this person thought that you was gonna stay and wait on them. Woo, yeah, this person got pissed off when I said that. They didn't want you to know that. Yeah, this person had multiple options and you were one of them of, of Aquarius. This person could have even possibly um, started something up with their, their child's mother. They could have moved toward their child's mother. Or, you know, father. Either way it goes. Y'all give me just a second. My baby wants this beef jerky and she over here just a crying. You know, mommy don't go for that. So, yeah, babies come first. Here you go, love bug. Wipe your, wipe your face, okay? Yeah, this person could have... Uh, when they could have been still sleeping with their child's mother. Yeah, this could have been why they were slow to offer you anything uh, solid because they were still engaging with their their uh, child's mother or father. Yeah, Queen of Swords. I'm sorry, I went through. <laughs> This person right here, this is a very intelligent person, but she speaks her mind. She's not going to hold anything back. So, yeah, you could have. Oh, child, y'all giving me a headache. You could have learned about this situation, and it was just like off with this person's damn head. Yeah, it's like you probably, this probably came as a shock to you. This probably came as a serious shock to you, Aquarius. It's like, well, okay, yeah. It's like you probably had an idea that this was going on. Exactly. You probably had an idea that this was going on, but you weren't for you to you weren't sure. Page of Swords, more air energy. You could have been dealing with the fellow um air sign, another Libra Gemini Aquarius. But this to me looking like a, a air sign dealing with a fire sign. Damn. <laughs> All right. Them oh, them air fire. It's like y'all fuel each other. Yeah. The six of wands. This part I'm telling you. This <laughs> This person was slow as hell to offer you anything because they were possibly offering to other people. You see how it's three people back there? I'm saying this person could have been offering to multiple people while they were dealing with you. They could have. But see, this person saw something in you. And they 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 just they probably that most likely they told you that they weren't dealing with anybody else because they wanted to keep you right there. Yeah, this person wants some type. They it's some type of recognition. Like if you're not giving this person any attention right now, this person wants you to give them attention. This person wants you to acknowledge them. 
that gives me more energy of like this person want to come back towards you. Like this person want to rush back towards you. But they want to see this is the thing Aquarius. They want to rush back towards you but they still slow to offer you anything solid. What kind of bullshit is that? Yeah, you could have been with someone for a while and they know that you wanted this stable offer, like this solid foundation with them. And they were slow to give it to you and you you told them, either you going to give me this or I'm leaving because it's been a long time. You could have known this person for a while. Yeah, I got the Magician, the Three of Cups, and the Page of Cups. Yeah, it's like this person... They want to be able to celebrate with you, but still not offer you really anything. It's like this person want access to you, but they don't really want to offer you anything. This person could also be someone who overindulges. Yeah. This gives me more like this person was still dealing with that, their child's mother because that's a fish in that cup. It's like the cup is love and it's a fish. Like you always know, like people say, I dreamed of fish when uh, such and such pregnant. Yeah, this give me more vibes of this person was still like chilling or something. They doing something with their baby mama or baby dad. Something with their chat the the parent of their child. Like I said, this person, you could be dealing with the younger water sign. Uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But you, this person was definitely, definitely uh, acting in a page energy whenever they were dealing with you. The magician. This person sees that you're able to manifest any damn thing that you want. This is how this person looks at you. This person looks at you like a goddamn magician. Whatever you want, you snap your damn fingers and it's yours. That's how this person sees you. Yeah. That could possibly be why this person is headed back your way. But let's see. Two of swords. See what I'm saying? This person could come back and still try to do the same shit to you. This person could come back and still try to have you blinded by something. It's like they coming back to offer you just enough to get you to stay with them. But it's like you're in... You... Oh, I can't explain this. It's like somebody want to close up my throat. This person knows... That this could go either way. You know that this could go either way. This also speaks to this person having options. And you turning a blind eye to it. It's like you possibly knew that this person was dealing with other people. But you wanted this with them so bad that you stayed there. Should I, should not. Will I, want I, sorts of. Yes, you stayed. Because you do have emotions for this person. This shit could have had you all in your feels. But you know, you see what you but you see this how this that moon is after moon is such things are hidden, things unsaid, things unseen. But you see how it's like the it's the sun is rising. It's to me like this D, whatever was hidden is about to come to the light. Or it already did, and that's what caused you to move the fuck away. Uh oh, there we go. Yeah. You single. This caused you to move away from this person. And see, this person sees that you are comfortable single by yourself. You are very comfortable by yourself. You're very abundant. It's like you putting all this third party shit behind you and looking towards your future. Like you ain't worried about none of that. You ain't got your hand reached out on that, baby. You out here in nature. Enjoying your, enjoying your harvest. You see what I'm saying? You ain't waiting for it to come in, baby. It's right there. Yeah, like I said, this person know that you are able to manifest anything that you want. This person knows that. 
Ace of Cups. This person also know that, that you love them. So that is probably why they, they they do all this shit because you they know that you love them and you will take them back. Yeah. But see, with this Ace of Cups and this uh, Knight of Swords, I'm telling you, this person is on their way back to you. They finna offer you, they finna offer you love, but it ain't gonna be a lot of it. Look, something just hit my damn uh, <laughs> patio door when I see it. They coming back towards you. And it's like this person really don't have a lot to offer you. They don't. Right now, this person does not have a lot to offer you. But this person is not about to let you get away, Aquarius. Think I'm playing with you when I'm not. Yeah, because I don't care what this person says. You make this person very happy. Very happy. But this person, to me, seems to be selfish. They are they, uh, a little arrogant. Yeah. But see, what Aquarius ain't doing, they ain't finna be in their head. Aquarius out socializing. Yeah. Aquarius out living their life. They living their best life, uh, cross watcher. I'm out of breath. Like, oh my god, Aquarius, what y'all got going on? Who y'all dealing with? Queen of Cups, it just flipped up. Yeah. This person is a very nurturing person, very loving, very emotional. This is uh cancer energy. I mean uh water energy, cancer, uh Pisces, Scorpio. They see <laughs> this person knows that you love them, Aquarius. Do you understand me? This person knows this. And it's like because you love them so much, they have a tendency to take advantage of you. This person could also see that you're very abundant, very loving, very nurturing. And that's what they want to come back because of. They want to come back because they see you're very giving. You're very giving. See, and I'm a this person Aquarius, they weren't even on your level. They weren't even on your level. Y'all excuse the Pharaoh shit. I like to eat. Fuck, fuck. But yeah, you dealing, you are, you coming out as queens and kings, your energy. This person is coming out as pages and knights. This person was not even on your level to begin with. I mean, not down talking anybody, but hell, we got to call a spade a spade because we're going to tell the truth around here. Yeah, look, cycle is closed. This cycle is closed. But we all know that cycles end so new, new things can begin. Aquarius, listen to me when I'm telling you this person is coming back. You moved away from this person. You moved away from them. Or the energy could be vice versa. Aquarius, you could be on your way back to somebody. You could be, look, you could be the one in the page in the in the night energy. You could be messing with a damn person that's in that king and queen energy. You could be on your way back to this king of wands, this Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So this person is on their way back to you because this person sees you. You probably done bossed up and everything. You see what I'm saying? You are not the same person as you, that you were when you first started dealing with this person. I don't give a damn what nobody say. You weren't. I'm looking at it. But you're, you have a very big heart. You're very giving. But see, the thing is, you got to learn when to stop giving because people that's takers don't know when to stop taking. You have you had to become where she at. I know she at her because I've been looking at her because she's been staring me in the face all damn day. There she go. You had no choice but to become the queen of wands. 
You you're you're naturally you're the queen of cups. But this situation puts you in your queen of swords energy. I said queen of swords. Queen of swords, I'm sorry. Yeah. This person turned you into this like emotionally closed off kind of cold like person, but that's not who you are. You know that. This person, oh, oh, this person. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Yeah, this cycle is closed. This wheel is no longer moving, Cross Watcher. Aquarius is walking away. Aquarius is done. Aquarius is ready to start something completely new. Aquarius is manifesting something completely new. Mommy? Yeah. That banana is loud. Yeah, Aquarius, they, they, they want something new. This could have even been a karmic cycle that you two were stuck in for a few years, maybe 10 years or more. Okay. But yeah, this was this this seems to be a cycle. Now that part won't resonate with anyone, but I'm speaking to a, that part I'm speaking to a, a Aquarius. I don't know who this is. I'm speaking to an Aquarius. Sorry about the interruption, y'all. But I'm speaking to an Aquarius who was in a karmic cycle with someone who they possibly had two or more children with. Who they are now ready to close out that cycle and man, they're manifesting something completely different. They're manifesting their happiness. Yeah. I don't know why I'm, I'm getting spiritual from this card. Yeah, the scratching them. This, this, the Aquarius that I'm talking to. You're either on your spiritual journey or you're just you're naturally a very spiritual person. Yeah, you you're you're manifesting. And let me tell you something. Get back into nature. This will happen quicker if you ground yourself, Aquarius. Ground yourself. You've already taken yourself out of this situation. Do not go back. Do not go back. Please. I mean, I can't tell you what to do, but I'm looking at it right here. And I see if you go back, the cycle is going to start all over again. You're going to end up crying at night, confused. Yeah, it's the whole thing is going to happen again because this is not the first time that this has happened. And nobody is going to tell me that it is. I don't know which one pops, so spirit wants it to come out, it'll come out. But I don't know. Honestly, I don't know which one popped. Yeah, Aquarius, your reading done got me kind of fired up. I was fine. But this person. Oh, what is this? Yeah, now we have the King of Swords. Y'all are a couple. Yeah, this was a possibly a married couple. Okay, here we go. Yeah, this was possibly a married couple or a couple that has y'all. This could have been like your your soulmate, like I said, twin flame journey. Because I saw eleven eleven earlier. Come through, spirit. Yes, this person could possibly have been still dealing with the parent a 